today's video, we look way back to the middle of summer, where I finally took the plunge and decided to try out enduro racing for the first time. I headed up to the Tweed Valley for the Transcend Duro, the second round of the Tweed Love series, which was to be held at Inalethan. Joined by Nick, who you may have seen in previous videos, I set out to discover what racing was all about. And let's just say, we were in for a treat. The Transenduro had five stages covering both Inalethan and Golfi. At this point, neither me or Nick had really scratched the surface of what the Golfi had to offer, so on practice day we headed up there first. Let's pick up as we went to check out what we've gotten ourselves into. Alright, so practice day at the Transenduro, up here on Golfi. Right, in stage four actually to start off with, this is a trail called New Wolf. Whoa. Already pretty gnarly stuff. Oh. Never ridden this before, so attempting to take it a bit easier to get to know some lines. This more is raced. Pretty muddy. This is so slippery. Oh man, look at this. Oh. Oh. I think Nick's kind of dropped me already, to be fair. If I'd known it was going to be this bad, I might have invested in some mud tyres. Oh. Oh. Just those odd few roots that love to catch your front wheel sideways. Oh. That is going to be horrific tomorrow in the wet. Dab my way onto the high line there. <laughs> All right, this is going to be stage five tomorrow, but it's just the second one we're doing today. This top section is going to be so quick. Deceptively dry because I have a feeling we're gonna hop in some disgusting stuff through here. Oh, yeah, straight away. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, these trees are so tight. Oh yeah, loving this one so much more. Oh, feeling good. Oh dear. Sketchy. Super sketchy. Tell you what, this is a long trail. For some reason, Hyper Smooth on the GoPro turned itself off for the last little section of stage five. But with oh, the golf stages well. checked out, it was time to head over to Inners to see what the remaining three stages were. For practice day, there was actually an uplift running at Inalethan to give you easier access to stages one, two, and three. To save some energy and time, we decided to take advantage of this and headed up to firstly check out what was going to be stage one, a pretty popular trail called Angry Sheep. Oh, 
Oh, where's he going? The uplift definitely helped out on practice day, as by this point I was already starting to feel a little tired, and was wondering how I was going to cope the following day in the race. Nevertheless, we carried on, taking off stage three, which was a good mix of different trails all linked oh, together. What is this? off camber root skull ore. You all right? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, so this stage looks like it's got some punchy climbs in. Oh no, this is a horrible one. Now it's gonna sap the energy right out of you. That's, oh wow. Oh, so stage three, got some whew, pretty horrible Taurus Road sprints in. You okay? You alright? Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm going to Oh, I don't know what this is, but you can't screw off speed at all. So lonely, what the hell? Ugh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know how I bailed out of that one. So after that run, stage three was probably my favorite of them all. A really good descent linking plenty of good trails with a few punchy climbs to tire you out. Oh. Practice day was coming to an end, so it was time to squeeze in a run of stage two. Oh, this is just slop, pure slop and darkness, wow. This was a trail called Alistair Lees, which as it turns out was not faring too well in the wet conditions. Plenty of slop, wet roots and sketchy rocks to catch you out. To top it off, I'd also say it was one of the most peddly stages from the weekend, so the legs were definitely going to be feeling it after this one. Hard work this one. Oh, what is this? I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Do 
Jeez. Oh. Uh, seems like the grass is actually grippier there. That was all the stages done for practice day, and we headed down to the campsite to try and get some rest for the following morning. The rain really started to pick up on the way, which was just a taste of how the conditions would be for tomorrow's race. Over by, uh, south of the east, just next to the race station. Nah. They'll get you under the way. No, me neither. I'm a bit nervous, first race. So, first race, yeah. You yeah, a few times, uh, not so much on Gorky though. Good stuff, a little bit more though. Yeah, yeah, messy one though. It'll be fine, it's just a bike ride. Right. It's really off the ground, it's just a bike ride. Right. Enjoy yourself guys, have a good one. <laughs> Should I give them the YouTube a shout out? Setting out on race day, I was feeling pretty nervous, which I guess was to be expected. But having a well-known trail like Angry Sheep to ease you in was a nice way to settle the nerves. And I actually felt like I was riding well but I'm not sure things were going to stay that way for long. Stage two was looking sloppy yesterday, then after the heavy rain overnight, the conditions on race day should speak for themselves. It's fair to say both me and Nick had our share of sketchy moments. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm good. Keep going. I've got to admit that after stage two, I was feeling exhausted. The mud didn't help with the pedally sections and carrying speed was hard work. Luckily, the first of two feed stations was located oh. at the bottom. So there was time for a quick refuel before heading on to stage three.
can see, I wasn't having the best of times in this stage, with a decent amount of mistakes and a slip chain adding plenty of seconds to the clock. However, the most fun part was yet to come as I made it down to lower Cresta, so I was determined to keep up some speed and just enjoy the last few seconds. And yeah, looking back, maybe I was a little too determined to hit this jump. Rider! Once stage three was out of the way, there was a weird oh. sense of calm as we all made our way through the town over towards Golfy for the last two runs. But that calmness was soon interrupted by this. If I had to pick a, a place that I prefer it to rain, it's not here. No. <laughs> right up at the top and then like probably the wettest track of the day. We've been pretty lucky with the weather so far on race day. The tracks had been wet, but the rain had mostly held off. From here on out though, things got incredibly messy. It didn't take long until everyone was soaked to the skin and getting chilly, and the race really felt like a bit of a write-off for me at this point, as the motivation to keep going was at a serious low. But thanks to Nick, I kept pushing on. I think having someone to ride with at an event like this is really helpful to keep the spirits up, and had I been alone, I seriously doubt I'd have made it through the remainder of the day. The GoPro must have been feeling pretty similar at this point as it was also struggling. By the time stage 4 came around, the footage was barely watchable, and by stage 5, the audio was a write-off as well. Nevertheless, I made it through the last two stages. It wasn't pretty, but I was happy to make it down and complete the race. There was a massive feeling of accomplishment as we rolled back to the course finish, but more so just a great feeling of relief that I'd actually managed it. I know there were plenty of riders there that day that made this route look like a walk in the park, but for me it was certainly the biggest day I'd had out on a bike, and some of the most technically difficult riding I'd done. Despite a tough first experience, I'm really excited to do some more events in the coming year, and have already entered some of the Tweedlove series, so it'll be interesting to see how I can better myself next time around. That about wraps it up for this video. If you've made it this far, then thank you so much for watching, it's been a pretty long one. Don't forget to drop a like or comment down below and I'll see you next time.